Sometimes this happens on the driving test, you just get a bit of traffic. Just... Main thing is, keep calm, keep your composure, don't get nervous. Yes, good advice. As soon as you start getting nervous, that's when you start making mistakes. Yeah, snowball effect. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Welcome back to the crew to another mock part. Mock pass? Mock test video. <laughs> uh, we're joined by Miss Biz Miller today. Miss I just can't Rocky even talk. No, we're calling Miss, him Miss, Miss, Miss Miller. Miss Miller. Biz Miller. Sorry about that. <laughs> and obviously the guy that can't talk myself, Scott. So we're going to be doing a mock test today. You're aware of what's expected of you from a mock test. Maybe you've had a test before. So we're going to be testing your knowledge to the max today. So we're not at Pinner Driving Test Center, which is really simple. We're at Greenford Driving Test Center. We're going to get big roundabouts in, dual carriageways, and there is a spot that I know that Bismilla does not want to go to. And guess what? We're going to take him there. <laughs> All right, Bismillah, we're ready to start your mock test. Yeah. Before we get started, you got any questions for me? Uh, no. No? All right, okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you directions. Um, I'll give them to you in good time. All right, otherwise just follow the road ahead unless road markings or sign states otherwise. When you're ready and it's safe, I'd like to leave the car park on the left-hand side, please. If you're new to the channel, an extra special thank you. And for the current subscribers that are used to the dr mock test, driver thoughts being highlighted in amber or yellow, I still can't decide what to call that color. This will not be included on this video. We're only going to be highlighting the serious and dangerous driving thoughts in red. Hopefully this will help you for your driving test. Okay, um, what I'd like to do is just after the speed bump, pull up on the left before the next parked car. Don't worry about the driveways. I want you to move up till there's like one car length between you and that blue car. So just keep going up until there's one car length between you and the car in front and then come to a stop. Thank you. Take your time. When it's safe, drive on, please. Okay, so before we move off, we can see Bismillah doing his observations here. I believe he's noticed that there's some traffic oncoming and if you look over into the right blind spot check you see the black van you'll see the reflection off that vehicle now of the overtaking traffic now if there has been oncoming traffic or overtaking traffic redo your observations before you make the decision to move off Okay, Miss Miller, at the traffic lights, I'd like you to turn right, please. Okie dokie. Um, would you be able to tell me where my pen's gone? No. Would you like... <laughs> serious question. Now, would you uh, carry on with your driving? I'll ask you that later. Believe it or not, we are on a dual carriageway. This is because there's a central reservation and we have more than one lane going in each direction. Now, it is possible for parked vehicles on a dual carriageway, so do scan the road ahead as far ahead as you can see. We call this, or I call this, looking long. This will help you to plan early and change lanes if you need to, to avoid any parked vehicles. Okay, Bismillah, would you be able to tell me 
What's the correct or legal tyre requirements, please? Uh, it's 2.5. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, so if you weren't normally, uh, if you weren't doing a mock test today, what would you normally be doing? Um, what I'll be doing is I work, so I'll either be working or I'll be taking the little ones out to the park and stuff. That's nice. Nice sunny day. This is the type of chit chat you'd probably be aware of mm -hmm. that the examiners might do just to break the silence, yeah? Mm-hmm. This traffic light usually takes quite long because it only gives a green light any one side at a time. Mm -hmm. So it just takes a little bit longer. When moving away at the traffic light, it is good to accelerate to go with the flow of traffic. It looks like this is what Bismillah is trying to do. Unfortunately, we are in a 20 mile an hour zone and we reached a speed of 27 miles an hour. This is a considerable amount over the speed limit and will be regarded as a serious driver fault. It is becoming more common for urban areas to become a 20 mile an hour zone. Please do keep continuing to look for speed signs on your driving test so that you're always aware of what the speed limit is. Okay, uh, Bismillah, yeah. I'm going to start your independent driving now. Yeah. So there will be a sign further down the road. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to follow the sign towards Harrow. Please don't confuse it with Harrow on the hill. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you just to follow the sign towards Harrow, please. On your driving test, it may be more suitable to remain silent and focused on the road ahead, as conversations can lead to distractions. The next driving fault is recorded as a dangerous driving fault for clearance, obstructions. The vehicle was in a long left bend and getting dangerously close to hitting the pavement on the left. I needed to take control of the steering to prevent an accident and recorded this as a dangerous driving fault. One, two, yeah, yeah, we can practice and then, again. And then we can talk as well. I'm just thinking what to say. Just so, just thinking what to say. Okay, just concentrate yeah. on the road ahead for me, please. Once we finish this, we can think about what we want to do afterwards, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'd like to follow the sign coming up on the left towards Harrow on the Hill, please. Harrow on the Hill. Using the reverse camera angle, we're about to see how Bismillah drifts into the left lane before turning right, causing the vehicle to slow down and avoiding an accident. This is recorded as a dangerous driving fault for turning right. We need to show the examiner that we are a defensive driver. At the next priority sign, Bismillah does not stop for the oncoming traffic. I need to take control of the vehicle and mark this as a serious fault. Okay. Only because... Can you read that sign for me? Give way to oncoming of the vehicle. Did you see that car? Yeah, yeah. So we must stop here and give way because they're an oncoming vehicle. To win a free driving test, just write down in the comments below free driving test and subscribe to the channel to be entered in our next draw at 4,000 subscribers. If you've liked the content so far and you've got some value, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you want to see future content just like this. Bismillah receives another serious driving fault now for use of speed. We are beginning a descent. It's a good idea to maintain your right foot over the brake pedal to keep control of the speed of the vehicle. We are still in a 20 mile an hour zone. Keep looking for signs for any speed changes.
Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask, don't think there's a sign here, so I'm gonna ask you to turn right at the traffic lights, please. that ding dong noise before. Yep, that means you're going over the speed limit. It does. Try and use that if you can, it'll help you. See the sign for Wembley? Yeah. So I'd like to follow the sign to Wembley, please. Going back to the beginning of this video, you may remember that there was one area that Bismillah did not want to go. This is it. The dreaded Northwick Park roundabout. If you're local to the area, then you'll know what I'm talking about. We're turning right, third exit towards Wembley. Bismillah joins the right-hand lane and look at the faint road marking on the left. We need to keep towards this, which will glide us or spiral us out into the center lane where the white van is and the light gray section of road. This would be the safest lane to maintain towards the third exit turning right. It's okay to do what Bismillah's done here and maintain the very right lane or the inside lane on the roundabout. Yet when we change direction or change lanes, we must mirror and signal to make sure it's safe and warn other road users of our intentions. Here we are changing lanes with no mirror checks. So Bismillah receives a serious driving fault for mirror checks before change of direction. Okay, Bismillah, let's do your show me question. So, would you be able to show me how you'd wash the rear window, please, using the washers and wipers? Yeah, if you push it all the way down, it brings out the water and then it wipes it. If you want to do just a single wipe, just mm -hmm. press it once like that. Lovely, thank you very much. And if you can find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. When pulling up on the left, Bismillah mounts the pavement and receives a serious driver fault for clearance. Having a reference point can help you for pulling up on the left on your driving test. Okay, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on please. When your examiner asks you to drive away, you must look over your shoulders, assessing if it's a safe opportunity to move off safely. I don't see Bismillah look over his shoulders into the blind spots, at least a bare minimum of checking the most dangerous side before moving off. Therefore, he receives a serious driving fault for move off safely. At the end of the road, turn left. Observations at junctions is the number one reason why people fail their driving test. Make sure to look right, left and right again before moving out at any junction. We are now on a narrow road restricted by parked cars on both sides. Remember the number one rule of driving, less space, less speed. Even being reminded by your examiner for your clearance can be a serious driving fault. Got to watch that left side. If the mirror was folded out on that car, it was folded in, you would have took the mirror off there. Okay, just be careful with that left side please. At the roundabout, turn right, please. Second exit. The next driver fault is serious for use of speed. If you're unaware of the speed limit on the road that you're on, continue to keep looking for signs. And if you're not sure, go by the last sign that you have seen. 
Okay, traffic lights turn left. Bismila stops inside the bicycle box at the traffic lights. It's important to look at the road markings and stop at the first solid line. Do not enter into the bicycle box as we're not allowed to stop here unless we're a cyclist. This is recorded as a serious driver fault and you may receive a fine and three points on your driving license. Okay, it's a little bit far. We'll remind you when we get closer. At the traffic lights, turn left. Sometimes this happens on the driving test. You just get a bit of traffic. Just Main thing is, keep calm, keep your composure, don't get nervous. Yes, good advice. As soon as you start getting nervous, that's when you start making mistakes. Yeah, snowball effect. This is marked as a dangerous fault for pedestrian crossings. I needed to take control of the vehicle to prevent an accident. God. I wasn't even going to let him go. So I had to stop you there because we had a pedestrian on the crossing, okay? Traffic lights turn left, please. I've noticed you don't check your left mirror when yeah. you're signalling left. That mirror is going to help you to see this car or any other road mm. users. Must check mirrors before signalling for this reason. Mm -hmm. Okay. Receiving consecutive driving faults in the same category may turn into a serious driving fault. And now this driver fault has been recorded as serious. Um, it might not be safe to move in. Mm -hmm. So instead, just follow the road ahead because that will probably be safer. Okay. I just need to draw your attention to your speed. It's 30 miles an hour. Read that sign for me, please. 20. So you're 10 miles an hour over the speed limit. I've got a responsibility to prevent you from getting points and etc. So if you don't mind, slow it down a little bit for the 20 zones. Okay, crew, it's about done for me now it's three o'clock in the morning editing videos hope you've enjoyed we finish off with two serious driver faults one for use of speed and the other one is for stopping in the bicycle box at the set of traffic lights here we're going to fast forward through to the end of the video where you'll see bismillah finish off with his bay parking exercise I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please don't forget to leave a like on the video as it helps me make more content just like this for you guys. I really appreciate comments down below and don't forget to enter the competition for your free driving test booking. Subscribe and write down in the comments free driving test. I've been Scott. A very, very big thank you to Bismillah for helping us make this video and I'd just like to finish off with... Stay safe, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. And I'd like you to drive forwards into one of the bays here on the left, on the right, sorry, my mistake.